Welcome back guys to Octopath Traveler where we're finally here at the end of the game. A final gauntlet of bosses awaits us at the Gate of Finis in Old Hornburg as Kit has gone inside with LeBlack leading him astray. As we learn more about the bosses and how everyone's story links together towards this new threat, we aim to purge these flames and find out what our final challenge really is. And so there were two. Two more to do. Let's see who is our next challenger. What's the chapters we haven't done yet? Did we fight Werner? I think we did. I can't even remember at this point in time. The only way to find out easily is to pop him. Treasure! Third time now! No! No lethal poison! Right, so it looks like the monster has gone full of Asian. So that's never good. Considering it hasn't hit me, let me try to find a weakness, which seems to be light on pretty much everything we're fighting. But that's a thing. Uh, we should block his attack a little bit here. <laughs> While we search for more weaknesses. We know what other skill we're going for here. Feel the power. I mean, we could sidestep technically, but the battle is truly joy. Swords? I wish. I reckon it'll be spears. How about you? You know, I'm gonna place a bet on that. Oh, darkness too. Oh, we got break too. Okay. Um, we'll kill him on the next turn then. Out of my way. And Feral's going first, so we can set up the super easy, easy, super... It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. I see. No poison for me. What I live a poison-free life, you know. Light. The boss has one job. They all have one job. Well, then. But they all can't succeed, can they? Yeah. Bring down. The holy light of judgment. Right, elemental break to its max value. My turn now. The deadly pursuits that we're coming out with. I summon Oh, fire is another weakness. Damn, I should be fun. Poor kitty. You got more than you bargained for. <laughs> This boss is one job. Don't get completely floored. Give us some excitement, some tension. Oof. <laughs> and done. This is just the appetizer, I feel, though. Having us go through the bosses we've already been through once seems a bit cheap, when you say. To be honest, our reward is finding out more of the story and how it all links together. This is what this place is for. From the Diary of Graham Crossford, part the first. How was I just... Second was down there. Third was over there. First was up top. Whatever. Grave tidings reached me as I was passing through Victor's Hollow in my travels. My beloved's condition had worsened. I knew my journey must be brought to a swift conclusion, lest I be too late in the end. I made up my mind to sail across the Vernon Deep. The final ingredient I required was the pinion of an ogre eagle, that most fearsome beast of the sky. They said to make their home in the forest of Rube, beyond that vast emerald sea. When I arrived at the harbour, there was only one ship to be found. It was a grand one. No mistaking that. But the captain was none other than Leon Bastral. I recognized him at once, of course. Who could travel these lands without hearing a tell or ten of that dread pirate captain? The very mention of whose name would set even the bravest sailor's heart pounding and palms sweating. Yet I found the man himself to be quite different from the one spoken of in legend. Captain Leon Bastral stood at the helm of a merchant trader, which had prepared or preparing to hoist sail at the very moment I came upon it. I told him my haste and implored that he let me aboard. I'm afraid I don't just let anyone aboard my ship, he told me, and I felt as though I had been put as some kind of test. It was clear this was a man who did not easily place his trust in others. My coin purse as impoverished as my hopes, I held out the only thing of value I could offer. My journal. This is the most valuable of my possessions, I explained. Within it, you will find a record of every region of this vast continent, every town I have visited, and every path I have tread. Surely such knowledge is worth the trouble of having one more body aboard your shop, your ship, your shop, it's a shop ship, for this voyage. After all, what need had I of such a log then? My journey was nearly over. All that remained was to obtain the final ingredient and hasten home to my beloved side. Captain Leon gave a boisterous laugh and gestured me onto a ship with a grin. 
He'd have me believe the leaves of that old book are more valuable than the leaves of my coffers. You must have had quite the journey. I wouldn't mind hearing about it as you swab my decks. As your ship tossed about the stormy sea, my thoughts drifted ahead of the winds to where my wife awaited me. I could see a face in my mind so clearly that it felt as though it was only minutes ago that we parted, not countless moons. And I prayed that the flame would guide me back to her while her gentle smile still graced her lips. It's almost finished at last, my love. Pray wait for me just a little longer. I know not what has become of my journal since I parted ways with Captain Leon, but looking back, I am relieved that it left my hands when it did. Surely it is better than my final entry ended with some traces of hope rather than the bitter pain I would eventually find at Journey's End. Alright then, last one to go. Let's examine. I can't even remember who it is. Nope, no clue. But I'm ready. I will not fail. There is Werner! I knew Werner was left. Don't you get all shadowy sword? Terror and oppression. You've debuffed my physical defenses and physical attack. You get. That's fine, we'll just magically attack you to death. Alright, Felia needs to cure herself. We need to... Lower his strength while we get our set up into our specials. Victory shall be mine. Albrecht can just test the wars. Spears them. If it's not sword, it's spears. That's kind of like a rule we've learnt. Oh, okay. I could use the Star Seer skill on this point. So, for two turns, render a single vote unable to receive tribute augmentations or a single ally immune to attribute penalties. Would that cure the terror? I actually have to test this fact, to be honest. Sunlight, burn this place clean. No, it doesn't cure the terror, so she didn't gain any PP there. Ah. It did cure the other status thing, so we can clear them out fine. But it's weird that that didn't get rid of the terror. I guess it's not status. It really is a status attribute. There's no, uh, really two ways of looking at that here. Now, we haven't found a weakness for him yet. That's always a bit of a bum. I think we'll break him on the next turn, to be fair. So what do I want to do to lead into that? Steal SP, I think. I appreciate it. Really? Alright, daggers is a weakness. Let's do this! If we don't know what his weakness is. How do we proceed? Uh, well, we can always transfer the ruin on the next turn, too. That is true. Catch me begin. Let's avoid his next attack. No. So if it's daggers, I think it's spears daggers. So there's actually one more thing to do apart from this. <laughs> I want to check for some spare weaknesses here. And I don't need Ophelia to actually have any BP. Oh, a choice between wind and light. How about you? Also, we got the break that turn, so we have to go all hell to leather now. Oh, poo. My way is unfair. Wind hailed fight with us. I didn't think it would get two weaknesses on that one. The winner's actually going to survive this, I feel. I've got two options. Do? We can go with Balagars. And then go with a triple wind or a triple light. Or we can pass a rune over and do the damage that way. I could be screwing myself in the weirdest way. I just don't know it at this point. I gotta just trust he's gonna die. Really. I summon So he seems a lot more weak. To spell elements than he does to physical. Okay, he's weak to way. literally everything. Right, I actually think I'll do more damage if I hit with Ignis. Ignis Arctic. And that'll finish him off. Where's the nearest tavern? That's a lot of flame damage. 
So how much was that? Like 52k? Just off a normal four of ability. If I were to buff him with Ophelia's Cleric ability as well to give him double attack, he would hit for 100,000 on AoE. So I need to do that. I need to buff Ferion with the Cleric Divine. And that, that should do 100k on a break. It will probably do like a 60k or 70k. Just normally. So to be honest, Ferion is my powerhouse. Ferion's where everything is. Ferion is love, Ferion is life. As we read our last book. The records of Lord Werner of Liverford. Hornberg will fall. I still remember her smile as she said the words. It was a score of years ago now. May have more. A simple sellsword I was then. When she came to you with a sack full of leaves and dark promise in her eyes. She knew as well as I did that I have far greater aspirations than selling my sword for coin. But coin would have to be a start. And what a start she offered me. Not only the leaves to free me from another man's employ, but as much as I asked for to invest in my plot and establish the connections I would need. The life I'd always dreamed of was finally in my grasp. I could use her. I could use her to get all that I'd ever wanted. Or so I thought. And so I took the girl up on her offer and began my plot to bring down an entire kingdom. I would need men if I were to accomplish anything, so I created my own sellsword company, the Black Brotherhood, I called them. I spent three years doing nothing but gathering information on homework. Then, using what I had learned, I began to systematically remove any obstacles that might stand in my path. I used the girl's connections to make my company of sellswords very much in demand in Hornburg. I took the worst of the lot, those with no scruples and nowhere else to go, and made them out to be bandits and thieves. I sent these villains to attack in the borders of Hornburg, and then my Black Brotherhood would turn them back. It was quite the performance. Other armies didn't stand a chance of being us to the side of each battle. The skirmishes all took place far from the heart of Hornburg. We knew ahead of time exactly where they would happen, since the foes we faced in those battles were in fact our own men. It was an easy feat to give the appearance of a crushing defeat, through this farce, the Black Brotherhood won the hearts of the people living in those borderlands. Ingraining myself with the families of these borderlands, I used their introductions to buy trust among many powerful houses of Hornburg. The tales of the Black Brotherhood had spread throughout the realm by then, and I used that woman's money freely to strengthen my ties to powerful men within Hornburg and without. Still, King Alfred was well beloved by his people in his bannermen. It would be no small feat to win their hearts away from him, in which case things would become much easier if he was simply not in the picture. Hornburg would not last long without the people's love for their liege binding them together, and so my eyes landed upon Earhart, who held a bitter hatred of the king within him. I had him appointed as a member of the king's own guard, so he could be in the perfect position to do the deed. All that remained to be done was to give Earhart the chance that he was all too eager to seize. Mixing lies and truth, I lit a fire among this strong young warrior. I befriended. I could spout any lie, and it would not have mattered. Humans care little for facts. They believe what they want to believe. In the end, it took me just 12 short years to bring Hornburg to ruin. After the kingdom fell, I decided the time had come to settle my accounts with that woman. I disbanded my company, having no more need for sellsaws, and used the riches I had accumulated to buy myself the lands and status that would see me through my remaining days. To tell the honest truth, this was not easy. I could have gained even more had I remained at that woman's side. She could provide me with wealth and power beyond any human's wildest dreams. But to pursue this any further would be madness. Perhaps I was already mad to serve so long at her beck and call to bring down a kingdom. She was beautiful, there could be no doubt of that. But did I desire her, even for a moment? No. For when that attractive trapping was evil, pure evil, intent on bringing humanity to ruin. If a man dared touch any part of it, his own flesh would rot and fall away. She was a lethal poison. She was a witch. And so I cut myself off from her entirely and did not look back. Funny though, is it not? In the end, I could not escape her. She brought about my ruin, as surely as if I'd indulge in a poisonous touch. For in the end, just as I failed Hornburg, it was Hornburg's last night who laid me low. And so all the books are read! Oh! And a door appears. Right then! We have our SP kind of fully done. We have all our jobs and skills kind of set in. Uh, do we want anything else change? Your magnetic elements is pretty good for you. Surpassing so power to get yourself the extra physical strength is really good too. We've got basically attack and 
well, we got buffs, perma buffs for the entire battle of the defensive and attacking variety. I don't think we need anything else. So let's pass to the door. See what lies before us. The journey's end. Okay, it's giving me another of these then. Why are you giving me save point? I don't expect a save point here. Form two parties for the final confrontation. Oh? Okay, I want to return. Well, we want to split our forces, then. We don't want... Okay. I need to equip everyone. Can I just return? Phew, okay. Okay. I don't think everyone's equipped and I don't know what I want. Okay, we got some deliberation to do here. Let's split my forces half and half between Therion and Ophelia and Ulbrich and Trezor. Why those two? Ophelia's there for healing and buffing for Therion. And they feed off each other in terms of damage types. Trezor can give the chaser to Ulbrich if he's doing normal melee. And just generally power everyone up with sidestep and whatnot. So I think they go as better combos. Like oh, Warbringer. The problem is we got all the really good specials on Trezor and Ulb. But what we should plan to do is use Ophelia's Cleric to buff Ferion And just use Ferion to nuke the world with fire. That makes sense. So the the thing we want to figure out is where do we want... If we want two and two... Because that... I feel like splitting the power between the advanced classes is the best thing to do. I need classes that will work and help apart from that. So if I take... Dance of Cyrus in with Fair and Ophelia. So we go fairy spell damage there? Because we got elemental weakness with Ferion. That will help Cyrus do more damage. We take him in with Dancer. Yeah. And then we'll take Hanit. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So we'll take Cyrus, Hanit, Ferion, and Ophelia. Alfin for the healer in the other group. Primrose. Because there's dancer buffs. Yeah, that'll work. And I think I've got a set as a cleric currently. So... If I have her as cleric, then I can get... Technically, on the second party, whatever that is, I actually have the full gamut of strategies. So I have... Reflect Veil, Buff All, Sidestep, Runes Transfer. And then the front party will just have to be a... But it's, it's generally quite defensive because of Ophelia anyway. Well, this is interesting. Alright, well, let's just change these guys all in for the second. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of equipping to do for these guys. Because some people have nothing on them. Because of the grinding I did elsewhere. So if I give... Do I want to give you the Elemental Augmenter? Yes, yeah, do it. So I have an extra 100 spell damage there. Your Elemental Attack is 828 with the Absolute Zero Staff. If we can buff that, you might do a fair bit more damage, hopefully. We've got Legion Dagger there, that would be fine. And the Royal Crest for HP up. To be honest, HP is not bad. So we'll go with that for you. Primrose. We got knowledge staff there with elemental attack 3 through 3. You've got the amulet dagger increasing your dark damage. We need some more stuff apart from that. So do I want to increase your HP a ton? 
I mean, I can do. Makes you more defensive as a whole. And I'm sure I must have, like, a defensive one. Yeah. Blessed Blazon's currently on old brick. He's gone full defense. I think I must have an 80-80. <laughs> It'd be nice to have an 80-80 walker in here. So let's buff her defense a bit more. That'll do for you. It's the thing is the classes I want him going. Cleric, Primrose sounds actually quite good. Uh, Cyrus is... Thief Cyrus? No, he's Dancer Cyrus, yeah, for the buffs. Hanit as Leghold Trap, so that's cool. Do I want to change her class to something? Like Apothecary? To get items up on everyone, yes. That's going to be your job. So I had you as a thief. Where's Pop Gary? I kind of wanted that on... Like maybe I'd make her a dancer. Yeah. Let's make her a dancer. Hanit dancer. I just realized something, yeah. Hanit dancer. And you're going apothecary. For the very obvious reason here that I can get a second ice damage done. So I want that axe off Elfin. Let's change your axe to more physical damage dealing. Let's take the memorial axe. Let's double ice on him now, including plus lightning. So that's cool. Uh, let's make sure they've actually learnt the job skills. They have. And Hanit hasn't. But we have the JP for it. Oh god, I'm going to have to do this all again if I fit. Because there's no save point. Is he going to let me start and start again? I don't know. So she's got leg hold trap. She's basically going to be our debuffer and buffer. So that's Hanit's job now. So she's got an 80-80? No, she's got 50-50. Uh, I think we'll go with a 50-50 then. And then we want something else. Mass HP. That'll go for me. Okay. You need a bow as well, do you, Al? To be honest, you're just pure physical damage at this point in time. Though saying that, if you're going to be in the other group with the elemental chasers, we should get something with as much elemental attack on it as possible. So the holy longbow is not it. It'll be the ruin bow. Give you a bit more element attack. All right, I don't even think you need that SP. So let's change that for something too. Love more protective necklaces right now. I don't think you need more HP. Let's go with plain defense. All right. So darkness damage up. You're just gone physical with a bit of LM attack on you. Technically, it might even be better to just go. There's there is a full LM attack blade in there. That's higher than the rune bow. Ah, we'll just go with it that way. Okay, so that's that. Skills for this boy. Physical prowess. Spassing power, fine, because you're probably going to do more than 10,000 just with chases. I don't know. You might not have enough enemy attack, to be fair. Depends what we put on you as your dagger, to be honest. Second serving, summon strength. I don't think you necessarily need that, so I'll take the, the buff. Again, defensive and offensive. So you've already got elemental thing. Let's give you physical prowess. Elemental augmentation. I guess that works. Hard worker, what have you got currently? Physical prowess. You can see that they're still set up after the grinding, can't you? An elemental edge, surpassing power. Summon strength, you don't necessarily need the extra attack strength either. So what else could I put on? Da 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 da. 
my senses. Oh, actually, patience. Yeah, let's put patience on. Alright, an elemental edge, stronger strikes, elemental org. So we'll change that in for we need surpassing power too. That. That. And surpassing power. Pretty much across the party here. There is one other ability that we could use to really cheese this, I feel. Something I haven't used yet. But I feel like the HP totals we're on currently are pretty good. Okay, you got knowledge staff the animal attack, haven't you? That's cool. So yours reaches 651. Yours doesn't reach much at all, to be honest. 442. 807. Yeah, we need some LM attack here. The ruined knife. Okay, so that's 501. That's for all for... Well, it's all for chasers, he said, but then there's no chasers on Hannah. Must remember that fact. Can we use Cyrus Steel that? That's probably not the best idea. Right. So that should be all them equipped and geared. I'm a bit... How are we going to do this? Will we be fine? These are the questions. So Alfin in the next row has Hunter. Do I want him to have Thief instead? I think I want him to have Thief instead. No joke. Because then you can get Armor Corrosive. Or do I even need it? Leg Hole Trap, Armor Corrosive. I think I'll take Leg Hole Trap. I don't know. It would feed more into the attack team, but to be honest, it's mostly going to be elemental chasers that we're using. So if we're looking at it then, the party split will be... It will be... Fairy on at the lead, of course. He's our leader. So we've got Philia and Cyrus. We've got no dancer now, have we? What have I done? Oh, no, Hannah's the dancer. I think that'll work. And then on this side, we got Prim, Olb, Alfin, and Treza. So Alfin will be battery. Treza and Olbic will get their stupid specials up and do whatever they need to do. Because it says there's two parties, which is just like intimating that I need to attack with two different groups. Are we ready for this? That's what I'm wondering. We've got to do the setup again if I fail. So, after setup, after many a story has been unfolded. Let's see how this plays out. Our final battle. Form two pies for final confrontation. Let's just double check. They're all in the, s the ways I want them. So we've got two healers in the second group. That's great. One healer in this group. Well, technically two healers. We've got... Yeah, that, that should work. I think we've got the most powerful ultimates in. And we're comboing people the best we can, I feel. Faron's got the least HP. Let me know. He's got the evasion. He might be able to dodge some attacks. Here... We go. What the hell are we fighting? Time to find out. Commence the final confrontation. If it throws some new mechanics at me now, I'll hate you. You, quite the stubborn ones, aren't we? Why? Yes. Where's Kit? That's the question on your lips, isn't it? Kit. Why well, he's right there, standing before your eyes. Oh, what? You transformed him already. Just so. The thirteenth god, Gaudera the Fallen. He and Kit are one and the same. The Gate of Finis. Was created to seal Gaudera beyond the boundaries of this world. And the Crossford family, you see, comes from a long and ancient line that carries the stuff of the Dark God in their veins. But in truth... Many years ago I led Graham, Kit's father, to this same place. I told him that by coming here he could return his beloved to the land of the living. A lie, of course, but one he was all too willing to believe. And then... I was proceeding according to plan, but in the end I underestimated the strength of the man's spirit. Oh. 
The ritual failed, and Graham escaped somewhere, though he hardly resembled himself anymore. <coughs> this time, though, will be different. This time, I will not fail. It begins. At long, long last, Gardella shall rise again, and all the world will know his fury. <laughs> you too have an important role to play on this historic day. Your flesh, your blood, your very soul will feed the Dark God and give him strength. Father. Can you hear me? Father, your daughter calls for you. Goldera, my father. Pray show mercy on these poor, wretched souls. I hear you, my daughter. <laughs> oh, father, at last. We are together. My daughter, for fulfilling your fate, I bestow upon you eternal slumber. We just killed his daughter? Okay then. Just like that. Brave souls, you too have earned the same reward. So come, let us consume all life on this world. Let us consume the gods themselves. For now, an eternity, there is only us. Us. There is only... Goldera! You ready for this? The soul of the Dread emerged from Galdera's body. The souls of the Dread locked off his weaknesses. He has some kind of weird buffing on him. There's a little kind of body sticking out. We've got new music. What's going on then? What are we planning to do? How are we setting this up? Let's make a BP farm. Have this. Out of my way. I do wonder what this thing's going to do, however. So what's the order of attacks here? Not that great for me. I don't know what this guy over here is weak to. Elemental. We'll make him a little bit weaker. Oh, come on! You can't just nuke me! What next? You can, but you can't. Right, we've got our dancer skills, but we'll wait for a little bit. I think leg hole trap would be a good start on slowing this guy down to the back of the line. I'm not sure what leg we're trapping, though. Oh! We got Fire Emblem singing. Bravo Seahorse Mark 2. Right, let us get that on the Hunnet, I feel. No, myself would not be a bad idea. Daughter, bring us sucker. Our BP farm has been made. Oh my god, that hit! Oh, wait, Hunnet's dead! Out of my way. What the hell does this guy do? I haven't even been able to attack yet. I need to analyze the thing down the side. Pretty much heal everyone up apart from that. Right, if I want BP, let's not be stingy. Let's not sting. Let's do this. Let's see if there's a spell weakness. Light. I'll do my best. Uh, we've got every ability buffed up to absolutely maximum. Faerun's getting ready to go. Letting the hunt begin. Better than a snare. Let's make sure this guy's not going to attack me for a little bit. Wait, did that not work? Why did my leg hold trap not work? Let's break the stupid thing and then see if we can kill it. No. Okay. The interesting dilemma is my sting didn't work. Right, and leg hold trap didn't work. How about this? Okay. Shadowy Mist envelops the battlefield. 
It became harder to hit your foe. We got an accuracy What's down. Next? Well, if you're gonna do stupid crap like that. Yeah. That said, we're not meleeing people anyway. Oh well. My turn. Well. Ignis Arctic. Ignis Arctic. Unfortunately, that second attack isn't gonna work, but we did get rid of what was blocking the eye. So I really want to use Analyze here. I'm gonna do it. Level 4 Analyze will tell me all the weaknesses. So, light. Of course it's gonna be light. Don't be silly. We know that. I, I can't do any better. Sadly, there's no thunder. So we're not looking good there. We need some more BP on you. Have this. I don't think Leg Hole Trap is going to help me here. Unless maybe it works now that he's not buffed up. It does now. So I've got to do damage to him, obviously, before Thingy appears. I can get three attacks here. Technically, I can get two more on the break bar. Are we breaking him on the next turn? Oh. Until more enemies appear. And he's no longer leg hole trapped? I think he still is, just it's hidden in the back. I don't know. Damn it! My focus is unparalleled. Uh, who to use this on? We've got something attacking us beforehand. Now on you, Cyrus. We need more BP. I'll do my best. Let's just use Reflective Veil. No, that's not. Let's keep getting Ulfrix on Ferion for now. I mean, we're stable, but what's with this, like, all these extra bodies appearing? A delayed incantation. Something will happen next turn. And Leghold Trap has been knocked off, so Leghold Trap's useless. Right. Thank you for rendering my abilities non-useful. Letting the hunt begin. Essentially, I just need to get more take aim. I guess it's the best counter for this moment. Never missing. We nearly got him on the break, but. <laughs> I feel like I should just go full fire here. Ignis This is the most damage we do. Ignis It's not enough to take them out though. I will not be defeated. I mean everyone's full HP. We've got Elfrix on for a few turns. What else can I do? We can find one weakness. Right, so they've got accuracy up. Oi! Well, you hate Ferion, I get that fact. Let's get one of these hands broken. Letting the hunt beginning. Oh, do I use just a standard revitalizing jam at this point, I feel? Stupid eyeball, man. I think spells attack no matter what, so we're fine there. I need to break the eye and just do some monstrous damage to it within the quickest period of time. It seems that the defences of this boss are ridiculous as well. I didn't analyse the HP. I didn't look at the HP of the boss. Um. I mean, really, I just need to do stuff. I 
I mean, I could get that and get Reflex going. But it's very difficult, whatever our plan is. I, I'm on the final, final, final boss, honey. Always breaking moments, you are. <laughs> Alright, let's heal up, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. We got one weakness. we broken one. And we know it's not going to be light, wind, or something else for the Starseer orbs. What the hell am I hitting this other guy with, man? Well, at least we can f fight back with lightning, I guess. <laughs> well, fire does a lot of damage. Ignis he killed both. Ignis and then he's wasted the second one. Coming, if thou darest. Do we break him this turn, knowing that we don't have much in the way of BP for the next? I have two choices of axes that I could go in with. I was expecting to miss. Right, we reflected that. Well, what next? So we've got that up now. We're gonna break him, but I should break him not on this turn, but the next turn, and set up for this time. Right, we've lost our special ability. That sucks. Daughter, bring us sucker. Oh. I'll not be defeated. Right, we don't want to break him. We just want to give something beneficial to the party. What do I do? I don't know. We can break him with an elemental break. I've just realised. So if we're going to BP with Cyrus on the next turn, let's get one pomegranate onto Ferrium. <laughs> Out of my right, way. Now he's ready to break. Life is good. Let's break him with elemental break. Uh, elemental break. This is where I miss. So we got the spell damage down too. So we broke the eye for the first time. We've got two full turns of attacking, but not really much in the way of damage that we can really put out. That's the sad factor about this currently. How do we get the damage out? We've got triple attack lizard men. Oh, they're rubbish against the boss. Whatever. That was pointless. How about this? Well then. All right, we are ready. This does damage based on the BP on the enemy. But I've just realized something. That matters more. So the eye will move first on the next turn. There's nothing currently up. How much damage can I do in this one turn? Fire is going to be my best bet. We also know with you it's ice. Barely anything. What is the HP on this beast? That's what I'm really wondering. Alright, here we go. This is the hit we've been waiting for. What do this? Ignis Arden. Eh, 55-ish K Ignis times two, 100k damage. That's not 55k, you idiot. That's 45-ish K. That's nearly 100k damage off that one attack. I'll, I'll take it. Not exactly what we want. It's too bad we can't leg hold this guy. As we can see. We did a fair bit of damage. But none of my beasts are good enough to seemingly dent this guy whatsoever. 
Oh my god, how bad is that? <laughs> Hannah is just... What do you mean, well then? The crazy has happened. He's got four attacks in the row on the next turn. I need to leg hold one of them down. Okay. Four bodies of evil death. What can I break? I can break the fire one using Cyrus and me together. Thank you for the volley, by the way. Um, so we can break one. Leg hold another. Break it on the next turn. Oh, stars! Fill us with power! Out of my way. So let's. Well, we can definitely actually break one no matter what. <laughs> Mr. Ignis Ardair will break the rage and soul down the bottom. Which one of these Ignis is strongest? That's what I'd like to know. Ignis Arctic. We need to get some more BP up on the party again. Alright, the souls changed their weaknesses after taking damage. Another one just randomed out fire. That's really good if I could get another Elfric's auspices on Ophelia. Do I leg hold one? Or do I let it do what it wants to do? We've got Reflect up. Unfortunately, we don't have this up still. We'll get that next turn. Let's feed BP over to Ophelia. How about this? It's good that they've come out with fire this again because we could probably kill that bottom one with the next fire. Like, no joke, we're probably killing it. So, that one or that one? Before the eye or after the eye? It doesn't matter. Better than a snare. Well, technically, I could have prevented the other one from attacking from making it well. What's this? Poison now drains SP BP as well? We haven't been poisoned. Right, delayed incantation. Nothing's happening in this turn. I wonder if breaking it on this turn can delay that incantation even more. That would be a nice thing. Uh, Ferion's got just about enough damage to launch this Ignis Ardair. Ignis Ardair. We're doing it with the charge because it will kill the bottom Ignis one. Ardair. I might kill the top one too. No, the top one's still alive. Switch what weakness to fire to light. Okay, so next is that guy. I have no way to hit him with light that many times. I need BP. I need SP too. Using this. We're keeping our HP up. We've got Reflect on. So everything's not terrible here. Let's cast it on you. The bad thing is it only uses two turns. And it is the least useful currently. Alright, there's the poison. So that's gonna drain BP and SP as well on its next turn. So we're hitting Ice as its next weakness. No, we're not hitting life! What am I doing, you idiot? Well we killed it. Oh, it changed the fire. That's not actually bad. What next? It depends how you look at it. Depends how you look at it. I guess that works out. Uh, let's again BP battery. We've got some. We want some for like whatever the other party's gonna get messed up with. Oh, we got loads of revitalize and jam. Huh? Wait, where's all my buffs gone? He's taking my buffs! Okay! What a dick! 
Okay, so how do we rearrange this now? This is gonna hurt this poison, I'm pretty sure. Let's see how much BP it takes for the SP. What's this now? Okay, it's not taking any on this turn. Let's get our apothecary skill out. Let's go on you here, Ophelia. One BP steal. What a dick! Where'd my buffs go? Oh, that doesn't remove the poison. What's this? Oh. What's this now? That's really bad. I need to cure everyone of poison, but the only one who can do that is Ophelia. Let's give this to Hannah. Alright, one of them is going to cure poison, the other one's going to heal. The damage from said poison. In the meantime, let's nuke down this guy a little bit more. Let's get the break first. We lost our reflex, so he can hit us this turn as well. I forgot about that. Oh, and we lost our... It appears more will emerge as long as one soul remains. What the hell? So the other calls the other via the uh, when the eyes turn have Oh my god! Okay. He removed the buff from Ophelia. That's what happened. We didn't get the double break. Um We wanna heal and heal poison. Which becomes its own kind of annoyingness really. That's the amount of debuffs you're doing here. That's for sure. Have this. Sorcery. Stop it with the poison! Super seriously, please stop it. Better than a snare. Out of my way. So annoying. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. All right. Ignis well then. So another one's gonna appear now. I have no clue how to proceed because we gotta take down all these arms at the same time. So here comes the other one back again. So we can't even attack the eye. An interesting dilemma. Essentially, I need everyone to break on one turn and then, then ferry on to nuke with the most fire that you can possibly muster. I need to hit light on this turn. Somewhere. So if I use a light stone... A gift for We killed one? Oh god, he was on low HP! Well, oh, the eye's gonna summon another one again then. Man! Not working for me. Well, then. Gonna summon another eye again. Elfric, bring out the flame. Elemental damage will be augmented. Uh, way. cheers. Because I can kill both your souls this turn. Ignis Arctic. Ignis Arctic. I need to battery the ferrying again. 
Right. Great. Leg hold trap. Uh, I think leg hold trap might be good. Better than a snare. How am I gonna get the break here though? What is the logical course of action? If Ferion has two things of auspices, then I can get two into light and then do damage apart from that. Do I BP battery for him this turn or next turn? Battery. My focus is unparalleled. Dota, bring us sucker. There's my luck. My turn. So we got two turns of just nuke again. So I'll go with that. Okay, Lux Gonga. That'll be me. A six on the break bar again. We got it on the next turn too. The problem is I'd have loved an elemental debuff on him too. So we can break with Thunderbird and a Holy Light. Coming if thou darest. You better not miss. You better not miss. Lightning done my bidding. Well, some might say cast the uh, Scholar thing to do even more damage, but at this point in time, I'm happy with things going on. Why do we still have them? Uh, How about this? We're ready to attack. My turn. What do this? Ignis Arctic. So there's another. Ignis Arctic. No, you're 100k damage, and that's not enough. Well, what next? What HP are you on? How much longer is this fight? Hmm. <laughs> Do I dare analyze? We know it's going longer. That's not even half its HP! I've done more damage than most bosses have anyway! Like twice as much! Okay, so we just got to keep going through this and maintain stuff. What the hell? Uh, I don't know where to go from here. Basically, the strategy we've got is fine, but I'm just going to run out of items as things goes on. Letting my arrow fly in truth. I'm hoping you don't have any more crazy things going on, but something would tell me you probably do. So, let's capture you. No. There was a percentage chance for that I'd go for it every turn. Okay. There is, like, nothing I can do to help the party. At all. I basically made you a handicap there, Hannah. I'm sorry. Holding back and cowering before the hunters. I guess it's some damage. So essentially, we're taking around half HP. I'll not be defeated. Oh, you can't lower my spell damage. Well, technically, Hannah can anti that spell damage debuff now. So we want to get that on Fairy on ASAP. In fact, we actually have another turn to try and break him. Do we have? All Smith is on? We do. Well, this makes sense as to what our next move is then. We want to break him on the next turn. Fortunate thing is I can't get the spell debuff down on him. So thanks for him doing that. He's given us another damage window. It's going to work out really well. Right. How do I play this the best? Well, technically, it's Lux Conger with Ferion. Lux Conger times two is six. We've got basically two that we can get on either side of Ophelia, so there's the break. If Harnet then buffs Ferion's magic power because it's been downed, 
It will nullify the down and make sure he's the full power he will be. So we've got that for the next turn. If Cyrus then doesn't have his BP spreading ability, but if he gets that ready, that I think that is the next best turn. So let's drop a holy light again. Okay. I hate you. I hate you very much. But that should cancel out the debuff. Okay, no it doesn't. What the hell debuff have you got on? I know we've already got the buff, but it doesn't mean that... Why does that mean that the buff can now not cancel out the debuff? Ophelia is the only one who can do it now. But if, if we have to break on Ophelia's turns. So that sucks! Well, we can still do it... Coming up. I feel like you're this horrible, horrible tease boss. I hate you. Already. Why is it working that way? Is it working that way because I've already got an up buff? So I can't use it to cancel the debuff? To that I say, screw you, game. And we don't have enough for Lux Gun Gale on the next one, but we're not using Lux Gun Gale, so that's fine. My focus is unparalleled. Dota, bring us sucker. You can still do it, it didn't work. So let's go Holy Light here. Oh, light. Out of my way. The best way for us to play this is to essentially oh, just elemental break him for as long as possible. Because we got the next turn too. Elemental push. Oh, we got two elemental breaks, I forgot about that. I didn't need to charge it up that much, but the point is we're just going to use another super gem. How about this? To get the BP up across the entire party again. Letting the hunt begin. Is there anything I can do to power things up even more? I mean, Peacock Strut didn't remove the debuff. We don't need anything else. We just need damage. So I guess we just go into Defending's Rage. Cowering before the Huntress. Hey, this is what JRPG players do. They what? save their <laughs> items up until the blooming end of the game. What do and then, Ignis now's Park finally Park. the time to use it, you know? So we've cancelled things Ignis out. Park. It means we won't get the most damage we wanted to get on, Let's but it does mean the boss is getting truth. to its lower tier of its HP. If it does what it did last time, we can just break it again. We might be able to just go straight for a kill. The likelihood of that isn't great, but we can believe, right? Using this... Not be and we have Ophelia could just use a holy light maxed out, but to be honest, it's probably best for us to get Alfred's officers again on you. If we can keep him in this state, life isn't so horrifically bad. If you can, life is way worse. I really want it on Hanit. Hanit's the least useful of a lot. Cyrus can actually do some damage. Let's see what the eye does. Oh, the souls. Oh, different kinds of souls. Letting my arrow fly in true. Okay. Those are. That's like really obviously a doom timer. Based on the color floating around the enemy. Interestingly, the eye can be broken still during this period of time. But we need to take out the bodies. That is the primary target. Using this. There's a lot of attacks coming in next. I've just got to hope that stuff works. So we're going to go with shooting stars. We can find weaknesses across the board there. <laughs> so I've got to go with light to get the one broke. The boss will be one from break two. Interesting dilemma. 
Uh, there's too many interesting dilemmas. That's the problem here, Cyrus. We need to kill Red first? Oh, what the hell? It's all pure melee. And I was just about to use Aristotle. What's Decay? Wait, is he poisoning himself? What's he doing? Has he stopped me using magic? I should have brought a companion, to be honest. I legit think he stopped me using magic. I don't know. So it's pretty much all I can do is this. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, we don't have that, but you do, Hanit, I'm pretty sure. So we need to get big nukes of fire across, I think. And break the eye. There's one soul then. <laughs> I think Gouts of Fire are the only way I'm doing this. Do I have still... Oh, oh, I could do Wind. And then go into the next... Because that'll break one, and that'll be another one off the list. Use Hanit to restore the BP and go Fire next turn. That's a soul. This is still doing some nice damage to the eye. That's a soul. Do we have Eldritch for next turn? Yes. Let the hunt begin. There's one break. I think we might need to use a cheat jam again. Using this. Right, we've got one more turn to save Hannet. So we're going all out. Are you Ignis Harden? Oh, we killed it! Don't start things you can't finish. Yes! But I mean, this ain't it, is it? Because there's two parties. <laughs> unless unless one party died and then the other party switched. What the hell is another body up there? Time for the main event. Alright, what have you done? Your attacks will not reach Galdera. I am ready. Well, arguably, this is our stronger party. Let's go from here. Oh, cool music. Oh, we got this. So, we want to set up the same way. In a lot of respects. Though, of course, Alfin has concoct and he can just pop BP up on everyone anyway. So that's a thing. What am I doing then? We need to find some weaknesses. May the sacred flame shine forth. Here I go! I feel like we just need Ulbrich to just go ham. Kill. Maim death. This thing has many parts, and I'm sure we're gonna get attacked many times. This thing's right. going to have several attacks in a row before we can do anything. So we might just take out our party for the hell of it. Try this. Wait, that's a female at the bottom there. Oh, don't buff things. No. I'm guessing the head does spell damage. Find some weaknesses. It's unbending. Windhill fight with us! I'm guessing it's not gonna kill anything here, but it's better than nothing. Alright, so Trezor gets hit. Primrose gets hit. Our SP just got eaten. If we can get 
Ulbrich ready to use her ne his net stuff as well. That will probably work out quite well for us. So, do I transfer a rune or not? We found loads of weaknesses on things. We'll break the head on our next Warbringer attack. What turn is the head? Okay, it's before roll. And we could leg hold trap it and make it behind and then break it. But old brick power is what we need. Um, we know we're gonna take damage. Bring about a miracle of healing. So I'll take the heal. Treza, you're not gonna do anything this turn, even though you've got the Ruin Lord thing up. Apart from feed Ulbrick what he needs to save us. Let me help. Your attack's only single target, his is more. Here we go. I can't leg hold trap this, can I? I just remembered. I can only do that next turn. So he's gonna attack with whatever he's attacking with this turn. Unless I can somehow break it. Let's give it a go. Why not, eh? Dragon arrow! We moved one attack. Yeah, here we go. Now what do you do, lady? Do you just buff? Or you do attack? The battle is truly joy. Let's go at it. Feed over it. I need SP. We busted the face. Right, his extremities have been boosted in their power again, which sucks. I guess you've gone full healer now. Bring about a miracle of healing. What? Why Primrose on one HP? Uh, do I heal Primrose? Because I need Ulbrich to do his stuff, but he doesn't have the SP to do it again. Or do I abandon Primrose? Now I heal Prim. I'm not abandoning Primrose. Too many people have abandoned Primrose in their life. God, why do bosses always... Don't heal! Nothing. Why do bosses always have to have a, like, last, like, a JRPGs? It's such a tradition to have that one HP stopper. All right, luckily we can just concoct if we wanted to, but instead I will use a large pomegranate. Give him, like, four again. That is the right one. I do not want to mess up. Try this. See if we can just kill the others. How about you? If we can, life will be really good, I'm sure. My blade is unbending! I forgot about the mana! Damn it! Yeah, that's why I was thinking about abandoning Primrose, wasn't it? That's exactly why, because I needed SP and I needed BP. Damn! If only you could prop patience now, Elfin, that'd be great as well. Do I feed myself? I don't know if I can take any of these guys out after all. Yeah, better. How about this? I have drain SP now. <laughs> Forbiddingly! I am ready. What does that mean? Well, you didn't even attack, so that's good, but still all the same. I prefer to know. Everyone is set for doing stuff. Let's give me Silt Diggies. I don't think anyone's using spell damage, to be honest. With the grace of Seal Tige. It's only physical attack damage, isn't it? So Reflect Veil won't do anything. Here I go. Well, let's uh Transfer rune again. Ulbrich's ready to go in a second. Feel the power. The main body's been buffed. 
How much are you actually healing yourself? That's what I'm wondering. Windhill, fight with us! Is there a defense beam buff over or something? Is it all bring, bring it on. attack gone down? Legitimate question. It doesn't seem that way. I can't get a break on anything here. We, it seems to be elemental weaknesses on the top part. The spear? Let's just keep Try feeding this. into Ulbrich. I need Trezor to get ready. I mean, a full charge of sidesteps would be great for, like, this. I know you're not having a good time right now. But once you get full charge of sidesteps up, you'll be much better off, trust me. Alright, let's heal everyone up. Best way to go right now. Try this. I'm ready. Uh, the only problem is I reckon if I tried to attack, I wouldn't even hit. I haven't seen a single spell attack come out. So am I waiting for one or not? We're safe I mean, it doesn't hurt to have the buff just in case. We don't get caught off guard by that. No, no, no. No. Windhill, fight with us! We killed a face! Bring it on! Is there anything left? Okay, it's just the body. Galdera the Fallen. Okay, that looks better. I do legitimately hate you for doing what you've been doing, though. So we're going to be trying to break the body on this turn. Dota, lend us your aid. We don't even know it's physical weaknesses at this point. So his body's going to become available. And he now has two slots to attack in. No, he has no slots now. to attack in. Uh, I don't have the Rune Lord skill up yet. And if I don't break this turn by the look of it, he's going to go mental. We could probably leg hold trap him though. Well, let's just place a bet. We didn't have transfer room on because he removed it. Alright, we can get revitalizing jam on everyone so they'll have all their stuff on the next turn. You dick. You removed everything at the wrong time for me to even, like, contemplate breaking you. Oh, and I've just realized something. I can't get a leg hold trap. Alright, let's see this damage to you. Use it on Olb again, because he'll at least hit a few weaknesses. Let me help. Here goes nothing. Okay, let's see if Leghold Trap works. It does. Take it easy. Thing is, I lose the Revite Lazy and Jam on this turn, but I get it on the next turn. On this turn, I get to go for three hits. Or not. Oh, it goes in a weird order. Yeah, we get three hits. So spears, arrows, daggers. I'm pretty sure we can get the break. On the next turn. But then it's just about setting him up to knock him down. I don't know what HP he's got. We've got no analyze. He might have 500,000 as well. Uh, let's get SP up on a single ally, of course. We know we're getting Alfin to do a certain something soon, after all. Stay strong. <laughs> I'm ready. So if we use Thingy again, we get three breaks. We need to pick up three other hits. We can get two from Trez using her ruin. 
And then Alfin is going to cast Revitalizing Jam at the end of the turn, leaving us a full turn to just go wild. That'll work. So what I need to do... is hit. Here I go. Let's do this. Now we gotta find out how much HP he has. We'll at least get the first big hit on. Now we can see what ruins we wanna go for. That's great and all. Your 1 BP lacking there, sir. Okay then, if that's how it's gonna be. Any attack will do, you say. <laughs> oh, phew. The souls that have been trapped by Geldera are set free. Here we go. Vitalizing Jam. Try this. Let's do this. I don't know how much damage this will turn out being, but we've got more damage potential on this group in the one All turn right. than on any other group. But of course, right. we should set up just in case. Dota, lend us your aid. Because this guy's going to come back pretty hard, I'm sure, if we don't how kill much? him. But well, we're probably not going to kill him. Ah, War Master. It's up, Windhill. Fight with us. Any more? That's two parties. We don't have a third. Get down. <laughs> he doesn't have 500k. He kept that for his lower buttocks. You say it better than I do. No, I am more powerful, Eternal. I will not return to the darkness. I will not. We just beat a god. Our kid's alive! Oh, where am I? I see. Thank you, my friends. <sighs> she told me that I could meet father here, but it was all just a lie. Kit. Father? Mother? Kit, oh how you've grown. No mortal knows what fate holds for them. All these years I'd thought my journey a futile one. Only now do I know it was not so, all because of you. In journeying here, you have not just found meaning in your own lives. You have sealed away the darkness and restored a light to all of Orstella. For this, I thank you. Live on for us, Kit. Live on, and live strong. Interesting how the first character we meet, in a sense, in a weird way, outside on the trail, is the one we end the story with too. Well, you know what they say, slow and steady wins the race, and slays the god. For life is a journey. The places you go, the deeds you do, the tales whose hero you become. Every road is yours to take. So journey forth, friend, into this great world we live in and find an adventure all your own. And we get cash. No credits roll, no nothing. But that, as I understand it, is the game unless there's another side quest out there in the land. Congrats for your great victory, you god slayer you. Well, it's traditional JRPG fair to beat a god at the end of it all, you know? That's how it goes. 
Final boss defeat on the first try. Saddened but proud. <laughs> Great, excellent job. Don't worry, there's always Miguel. <laughs> what do you call the final boss of stupidly easy? That wasn't! There was a lot you actually, like, if you weren't into using the overpowered stuff of the game, if you were not cheesing things, like people were saying, like, once you got the uh, advanced jobs, everything was so easy. This was designed around that. And it was hard. The HP limit, the random mechanics, the lockdowns of stuff, the removal of buffs, the removal of debuffs, the removal of this, the removal of that, the locking of this, the locking of that, a doom counter. Though I will say the second phase was a little bit easier to break. But we did have a ton of damage in that party. Ferion was basically our ace of the first. And then we had, you know, we had... Ulbrich, who's a tier above Trezor, but Trezor was just there waiting for a chance to strike. We got a Spurning Ribbon. What is that? It seems weird that the credits do not roll. I think it was a fair boss. It was challenging. I mean, the fact that I level grinded up as well, because most people would probably go to that at around level 60, I'd say, with most of their party apart from the main character, depending on how quick they killed the main character's story. The fact that I grinded because I hate other characters being so low level compared to it, Probably contributed quite a bit to the ease of victory. I mean, by the look of it, HP pools mattered the most, I'd say, in that fight. So, if I were to do it again, I'd say the ultimate cheese for that fight is probably that. That's probably the ultimate cheese in the game. Because if they can't hit you for more than, like, 2k a turn, and you've done that with something like uh, a revitalizing gem... Yeah. I'd say that's probably like the old, that's probably the most cheese in the game. But, you know, play to win. And play to do what's fun. And play it your way. And have fun. That's all the games matter. For that point, it seems that there's nothing else in the world to do. I think our journey is full, complete, and done. We've completed every quest on our list. And there is no more quests lying in towns. I will do a final sweep. But for now, Octopath Traveller is over. We've travelled our journey, and now we wait for a sequel. We wait for the sequel that will definitely come. If it doesn't, then what are Nintendo and Square Enix doing, eh? This title has taken the gaming world by storm a little bit, especially the Switch world. One million cells in that shorter time, plus whatever they've made since. It's a great game. It's an enjoyable jaunt. Compared to other JRPGs, I'd say it's like a holiday. A nice stroll with eight short stories. Most JRPGs are trying to chuck you down the, the, the rabbit hole. This one let you come across and just basically enter a world and absorb yourself in it. And I appreciate that quite a bit. I love the game. I so hope there's more in the future. I very much respect the developers for making the choice to not have DLC and make a complete game. I know that's a burn to many other game makers that they decided to say, but it's beautiful. And that is a great design ethos. Don't milk the money, just make one great game. And just think, they've got the assets, they've got the art style, they've got a base game to build upon for a second one again. It should only get better from here. So that was Octopath Traveler. Thank you for joining me on the adventure. More Let's Plays will be to come. And I'll see you guys around for more adventures. Maybe in Ostara? Maybe somewhere else? We hope in the future. Bye-bye.